Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name's Emma. Beside me is my husband Ash and our children Minky, Dave, Cookie and Tiny Teabag. This is my identical twin sister Suze. We speak a lot about her and we vlog our daily lives here. Thank you for joining us. I'm heading back to Suze and I'm now making plans to not pop home one day a week, one night a week, which I, I was doing because she needs me there. <clears throat> you know, she's scared, she's frightened and she needs me there and I want, I want to be there. fully aware I need time out and I'll take time out and speak to the staff they've always said I can go out and chat to them when I'm feeling it's too much or I'm scared and upset and frightened So I will take time for myself, I promise, but right now I need to be with Suze. The weather today is crazy. want to update you all really that you know she's declining um, I'll go into more detail when I get a minute but you know I've made some phone calls and just sat here with her but you know lot, lots of different changes happening that um, are all new so Bear with me. Hi everybody. I'm fully aware that I look like poo poo. But I've, Susie did pick up a bit today. Manage with a lot of effort and time to get her out of bed but she's lost all strength in all of her limbs um, and she doesn't want to use the hoist or anything yet she's still trying to do it all on her own uh, managed to get her to the toilet twice and then she's talking nonsense but sometimes she isn't you know she has moments of like real clarity um, very shaky, jittery they are going to look into some antispasmodics to try and stop the jolting she still doesn't want to, the syringe driver and we can't force it on her so that's her choice this is all about what Sue's wants now um, And I've, sorry, I've come out to get some food because I asked her what she wanted. If she could have anything, what, what would she want? As she wants the um, the um, Chinese takeaway that we got quite a while back now. I don't know whether she'll be able to eat any of it, but um, if she can then great so I'm going to go and get that 
I just want to, I can't, I just want to say sorry for not being able, I know you tell me not to, but for not being able to reply to all of your kind messages and comments and, you know, I read them all, but everything's so overwhelming right now and, uh, you know, re reading things is, it's quite hard, there's thousands of messages to read through, plus I'm getting messaged by all the family, all the friends, and it's a lot, it's a lot for one person to deal with, but I'm, I'm, I am still think about you all, I've got enough love to give out, uh, and ho hopefully just me saying that, you feel it, I can't physically give it to you, but... You've all given me so much love and I want you to know I, f I feel it and I want you to know that I, I push my love that I have left out to you guys. And I just have to uh, roll with whatever the days bring now um, Susie's told me that if I can't if I'm trying to wake her up for a normal meds and I can't that I need to shout and shout and sh tell her and I'm like well that's easier said than done I can't shout at you for two three hours and she went yeah you can yep you must you will that's what you must do and I'm like you know do, there's a fine line between respecting her wishes doing what she wants and and maybe just telling her what she wants to hear that I will try and I will try but you know if I can't wake her up I can't I can't wake her up um Jason's with her now, so I've, that's why I've copped out. Because I won't, I'm not leaving again um, to go home. I'll pop out for some food or something if Jason or someone that she wants there is with her and sits with her 24-7. But we've sort of had to say no to visitors because um, there's too much going on for Suze to process at the moment. She doesn't want to see anybody because she can't. Uh, she's finding it very hard to focus, finding it very hard to speak, finding it very hard to get across what she means. And it's, that must be incredibly frustrating. And then, you know, by the time a couple of hours has passed where she's wanting to do something or ask for something, it's exhausting. It's just exhausting. Um, after I'd, I confused people by putting that second video up straight after, sorry, I thought I'd scheduled it for the day after, but I hadn't. I, put it up at the same time as the day in the life so it worried a lot of you um, I was going to tell you all that it was going up but you know things have got a bit better after that chat in the car sorry if I'm not making any sense but my head's racing it's empty it's empty and racing all at the same time and um two espressos <laughs> and I was a bit jittery earlier on a bit jumpy so just gosh 
you know these are the times that I can let off steam and uh, tell you that she loves you all for being there and for helping me and just keep spreading the word that's all we want from you guys nothing else but for you to spread the word to everybody you know to not be ignored by the doctors if you think something's wrong you push for an answer not just a guess you push for an answer thank you everybody for not pushing me for answers because I haven't got them never done this don't know what I'm doing. Just thank you for just your kind words, you know. Just a hug or a heart helps me. Because I know some of you guys don't know what to say, and I get it. Because I'm, I mean, what, do you, what, what on earth do you say when this is happening? There's no, absolutely, there's no words, no words for it. All the family are there with us, the ones that can't get there all know and are, and are with us. You know, this might go on for quite a while or things might get a bit better. Um, I have been told she won't regain her strength because she was like, oh, I need to do some exercises and, and I was like, that's fine, yeah. And we do like some funny little exercises. <laughs> it's not going to regain her strength and I know that come into some acceptance with dif different things but I know nothing will prepare me I just have to be there and when she's awake we'll chat about what she wants to talk about and have a laugh and watch telly we love the pottery throw down I won't tell you who won in case you've not watched it but well deserved she won't she want to watch it again because she wasn't with it but I know she wants to watch it again so I'll put it on capture for her on the laptop um, I've also uh, set up a little trail cam under one of the trees where we watched some wildlife going on so I'm hoping that it'll capture some really cute wildlife footage because you know me, nature watch with them. Um, anyway guys, better go and I'll speak to you all soon. Oh, one last thing. Um, people asking about, you know, don't knock the NHS or the nurses and they're probably rescheduling this appointment because she's too unwell well that wasn't the case guys um, and I don't knock all of the NHS and all of the nurses but some of the things I've seen it's been despicable and some of these medical professionals as we've already found out shouldn't be working in that field they've got no compassion um, or are a little bit lazy some of them and, I, and I'm not just saying that, the ones that work hard and have care and compassion really do and we love them for what they've done but some of them have um, either shouldn't have been in work on shift that day because they were having a bad day but uh, it's, it's, it's inexcusable some of the things that have happened that's all I'll say. I'm not knocking the NHS, or the, all of it, and I know it's higher up that causes the issues, but believe me when I tell you that some of the people we've encountered have really not given a crap about Sue's at all, uh, and I haven't got the energy to complain to pals, for those of you who asked as well, it's uh, maybe... Maybe one day I will. Um, and the other thing is, 
yeah they're not rescheduling this um, operation which we we're not choosing this operation this is what the medical professionals have told us Susie needed we only go by what they say we're, we're, we're not doctors we, we follow their lead on the treatment that she is due and needs we were told she needed this operation they first cancelled it because they forgot to put an anaesthetist it's to be done under general anaesthetic that's not a simple mistake that's a silly oversight second time um, they sent a normal a normal car taxi to pick her up um, again guys you, these are silly mistakes um, or, or deliberate mistakes because I know full well and Susie knows full well that they don't want to do this operation but if they didn't want to do it because of the little time that she has left please just be honest with us tell us there's no point in doing it because she's not got long left don't BS me or my sister or anybody else because to cancel it so many times knowing that you know time's getting up it's obvious so anyway that's that's that you know I'm allowed to get frustrated Susie's allowed to get frustrated none of you have walked in in our shoes you might have walked this path but you've not worked walked our path you don't know what's been said um, you don't know a lot of the things that have happened um, you don't know a lot of the amazing things that have happened. I give you 20, 30 minutes out of a few days sometimes. You have to think of the bigger picture. You can't jump to conclusions. I can't tell you everything. I'm only human. Things get missed out. Things... I can't... I'm, a, I'm just human. But I'm a bloody good one, okay? And I'm doing my best. All I can do is my best. I don't have to put these videos out, but talking to you lot helps me. And it's helped over two million other people that have watched. Two million. That's massive. That's all I want. That's all Suze wants is to, to tell people. That's all we want. So you don't have to go through this. You take care and I will update you when I feel ready again to talk to the camera and I've got a minute. Let's hope it's more good news and she's still enjoying watching telly with me and sitting with Jason. Yeah. Oh, wowzers. I have the goods. I know it's too much food for me and Sue's, but hey ho. Gonna go enjoy it now. Mm. Oh my god guys, this is so, so hard, but it's harder for her. She's just going downhill so quick. She's just um, jolting and uh, so delirious, can't make sense of anything. And she said, she said to me yesterday, she said, I know I'm going, I'm, 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 and then she was saying they've, They've um they've done it to me, they've done it to another one. They've 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 killed me. And I said, I know, I know. And I was just I just gotta to talk to her and oh my god. It is horrible. It's horrible. I just sit and um try to reassure her that I'm still there, I'm okay. I'm I'm still with her, I'm not going anywhere. just praying on the way here as well and um, 
I, Lord Jesus, I just want to thank you for Susie, Lord. I thank you that she lacks nothing, Lord. And for the talents that you've put in her, Lord, for everything you've given her, Lord. Um, she's not wasted anything, Lord. And thank you for all she has been to her friends and family, Lord. And I just want to ask the Lord Jesus that your Holy Spirit, Lord, that you said was our helper, Lord, would just fill her, Lord, completely, Lord. Fill all the, the dark places, Lord, the fear, and just bring your supernatural peace into her heart and mind, Lord. And this peace that would that is um, surpasses all our understanding, Lord, uh, and the peace that you can give, Lord, would just fill her heart, fill her family's heart, Lord, and just give her such peace and knowledge of you, Lord, that it is your timing, Lord. You are Lord of her life, Lord of her death, Lord. And we thank you, Lord, that you sent your son, Jesus, to die on the cross. You took all our sin, Lord, and you've conquered death, Lord, so that we would have eternal life and a relationship with you, Lord. And we just thank you, Lord, that one day we'll all be together in the new heavens and earth, Lord. We'll all be together, Lord. And every tear and every pain will be washed away, Lord. And it will just be so, so much joy, Lord. We just pray that in your name, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Amen. 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 Thank you, my darling girl. It's all right. Thank you, Bean. So all right. I sent you that message about my dream, didn't I? Which one? I had a dream about not, Susie dancing. I'm not sure you saw it about dancing and um, <laughs> what did you say? Well, the the start of the dream was me and Susie in a bath, which is really funny <laughs> because I love baths and Susie loves baths. And then the next minute she was dancing, and you know, like Circus du Soleil, oh, yeah, where they wrap, them, they, they wrap them. Have you? Yeah, I went with Jason. They wrap themselves in the thing and they spin back down on the on the yeah, ribbon. She, she was doing that. It was it was, <laughs> it was, it was amazing. Uh, was she still in the wasn't in the bath anymore? No, <clears throat> just dancing. Dancing. Oh, amazing. So nice. Thank you, darling. That's all right. I love you so much. Love you too. Come on. 